Hello friends, in this session we'll be going over the installation of Comunda 8 platform complete on-premises version on v Docker for Windows. To begin with, we'll download Docker desktop installation files from this button and I have already downloaded it. We will start the installation for it. So Docker desktop, once it's installed, we'll be using Docker YAML files uh, from GitHub repositories to do the installation. It can be done in the light version also, as well as the core components, where only the core components are installed, and also the complete installation, including DB, connectors, uh, uh, task list, all, uh, all the components which are available in the enterprise version. So this installation will focus, focus more on the complete installation because the simple core installation is pretty straightforward. The difference between both the installations is basically the YAML file. For one of them, we use the YAML file ending in hyphen core, and for the other one, we use the complete YAML file. After the installation is complete, it will ask you to reboot the, the computer. So I restarted the Windows uh, operating system and uh, it is starting the Docker engine after uh, rebooting. Uh, in the meantime, you can go to github.com slash commanda and here you will see links to the YAML files available in the repositories. So for platform 8 resources, you will go to commanda platform. And Comunda BPM platform is for version 7. So here you will see the YAML files. If you see the core file, that is the very basic uh, two or three components needed to have a development environment. Uh, and if you want the complete installation, it is this file. So you can download this file in the raw format. into a certain folder. Let's say we place it in C drive, new folder, commander, plat, After that, you will need to launch a command prompt, but make sure your Docker desktop has started before that, and better to run it as administrator. To initiate the Comunda installation, you will have to go to the folder where you place the YAML file, and then issue this command, docker-compose-f, the file name, YAML file name, up minus D. In a short while, all the images will be pulled from Docker uh, repository, and they will be play. Uh, containers will be kick started. So if you go to containers, you will see this uh, the environment command up platform connectors optimize operate task list identity key cloak ZB PostgreSQL as well as Elasticsearch pods have been created and they are in running mode. So if you want to see the logs for any of these pods, you can click on view details and that will give the logs. You can do inspection of the log and uh, utilize the terminal also if you want to run any commands. And to be able to connect to the ports, for example, for task list, uh, there is a hyperlink here to connect to the web interface. The uh, default username password is demo demo, and this is our task list. 
if we go back to we can also connect to identity console this is the identity console gb won't have any such console Elasticsearch is the api so you should be able to see the api json response here uh, that was the incorrect endpoint yeah this is responding at 9200 port so a complete environment a local development environment with all the components is available <coughs> as i told you if you don't need the identity optimize or the connectors then you can uh, live with the smaller the core yaml file itself